Welcome to the behind the scenes footage of one of our recent architecture shoots. This was shot for an architecture client out of North Carolina. Uh, we photographed up at the Colorado State University campus. The, it's a new lab up there that is going to be used for research. So I'll be walking you through the shoot and trying to explain some of the stuff we are doing. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to contact us. So this was the lab area that we were photographing in. I primarily photograph um, most of my architecture with strobes and the reason for that is color balance. It's a little more difficult than tungsten in the sense that I can't see exactly what my light's doing um, before I actually fire, but with digital and shooting directly to a laptop these days, um, we're able to um, see what we're doing pretty quickly and efficiently, so I enjoy using strobes because of um, the color balance and the power I can get out of them. So this lab space was um, a very different space for us, largely because, as you can see here, we are shooting through to an atrium. The atrium was really open um, as designed by the architect, and so we really had to light both inside the lab space and also on the other side of the atrium. Um, as you can see, it's blown out off in the distance um, to the outside, but we did still have to use quite a bit of our lighting um, to get the shot because using just the available light wasn't enough. Um, for a shoot like this, I think I used seven strobes that day. I shoot with photogenics. Um, I like using the monolight heads because we're able to um, move them around really quickly and efficiently. It's a lot easier than being hooked up to a power pack. So this is just a different angle of that lab area. We shot this with and with without somebody in it and then with somebody in it. The reason we do that is so that it gives it a sense of purpose and a sense of um, scale as well for the shot with somebody in it. But a lot of times the client likes to have the option. Um, if we do have the client choose that image, we actually sell them as separate images. So this is walking you through the space, kind of through a hallway area. Hallways are one of the most challenging things we shoot. One of the reasons for that is that you really are limited as, to far, as far as where you can put your lights. So we hide them um, behind every little corner that we can. And for this shot, we had about um, seven different lights set up. So what you're looking at here is um, one of the lab areas. It's a big um, white room, so it was actually a pretty easy one to shoot because we were just able to um, put our strobes in there and let the light bounce around and do its thing. By um, having an area that's really um, white like this, the key is to get the light to bounce into the back of the room and not just blow out the far end of the room. So your placement of your lights is still very key and very important. This room is also a perfect example of color balance. The fluorescent lights really gave us a greenish, yellowish hue to the images. So we just correct that in post-production. Um, digital has definitely helped a lot to allow us to make those corrections after the fact rather than having to replace the bulbs and the actual lights. So this room, um, as you can see, was very busy, um, had a lot going on. I try and interrupt people as little as possible when it's an actual working space. It's something that the client really appreciates because they don't want to feel in the way either. It also helps a lot because if people are comfortable with you, they're more likely to be willing to be in the shot. And we love doing that because it gives the shot a much greater sense of purpose. Many times the architect hasn't discussed this with them ahead of time. So the more comfortable they are with you, the more likely they're willing to be in your photograph. So this space is the necropsy. Um, it's where they do animal autopsies. And for that reason, it was very well lit, which made it to where we didn't need to light the shot at all. For us, it was purely setting up the space, um, getting rid of anything that we felt stood out, and then just getting the right color balance and um, correct exposure to show off the space. This project has actually taken us a total of four days of shooting and one day of scouting. So what we're showing you here is just from one of the days. We didn't do behind the scenes video for the other days. So the final couple shots you'll see here are just for you to have reference. It's a really open 
um, designed by the architect and has a lot of available light for the people working in the offices and also in the labs. The space is also very colorful, which has been a lot of fun to photograph. They hired a local artist to do the floor and the sculpture work that you see here. Overall, it's been a really fun project, and we look forward to going back and wrapping it up in the spring. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit behind the scenes of this architecture job. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions at all, and look for more videos coming soon.